Ahoy pilots, Seth here. We've just released some nice changes that will make your debriefs even better. I'll show you a couple of them now. The first is that we've added point of view controls to floating 3D track views. You can create a 3D track view by clicking the new view button. And in the new view, click the viewing options button and then select 3D track in the menu. Use the point of view controls to look at the track from the side and to rotate around. Click the center icon to reset the view. You can click the question mark to see additional ways to change the perspective. We can also open a new view and make it a 3D cockpit view. Use the point of view controls to change the direction you're looking from the cockpit. Clicking the H sets the view back to straight out the windscreen. For best 3D performance, use Cloud Ahoy on newer computers, iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. We've also updated the profile views. We'll open this segment's profile by clicking the letter I icon. The profile is showing altitude and airspeed in the top graph and rate of turn in the bottom graph. We can see similar information for the entire flight by opening flight profiles. Here's the altitude and airspeed for the entire flight. I can also undock this profile so it opens in its own view. By default, the profile views will open at the bottom of the main view and take its full width. We also rearrange the layout a bit to give as much space as possible to the graphs. If you have any questions, please email info at cloudahoy.com.